Okay, hello everyone. In this video, I won't be showing my face, but I'm going to show you how um, I'm making my vanity lighting, uh, my vanity bar, or you know, do it yourself, DIY, whatever y'all want to call it. It's a vanity light, and it looks like this. Like this. Um, you see, it has the round bulbs, and it's a four. It has four lights and um, I'm going to make this into a plug-in. See with this here. Uh, and I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. Um, what you're going to need is the actual lamp light. And that was from Home Depot and I believe they're about $14.98 for the four lights. And then um, the most expensive part of this whole thing was these day light bulbs. Um, they l use less wattage, but they're equivalent to 60 watts. Um, they're not dimmable, so I can't put a dimmer on these. Um, and I don't think that there's any daylight l lights made nowadays that, um, you can dim. I've tried it, didn't work. Um, and then I tried to get the reveal crystal clear lighting because they said it might be closer to this, but it's not. It lets off a very yellow hue. I look orange under it. So I feel like I'd rather lose the dimmer and have great lighting. So these are good. And those are from Home Depot also. So that's what that looks like. Then you need like some scissors or a box cutter, whichever you rather use. And then you just need an extension cord. Now, if you're doing two on each side like I am, you'll need one extension cord for each. So I have two of these, but I'm going to show you how to do one. And this, I already pre-cut it because it's kind of hard So before the video, but it normally comes attached like that. It's just a regular extension cord. Okay, so... The first thing um, that you do, of course, is cut this off here. And I use the scissors to do this. And you're not going to use this part. So you just put that to the side. And then you end up with this end of the extension cord like this. And then this one like this. So what you're going to do is just... Take your scissors and basically try to cut. Wait, first I'm going to go down first because it's easier that way. I'm going to go down the middle of the two wires to split it. So you end up with two. Um, the way I know, because these have one side has texture on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like little lines. That is the white cord, basically. And the smooth side is the black cord. And you'll know why I'm telling you that in a minute. So if you um, look at an extension cord, the texture side is the white cord and the smooth side is the black cord and later on in the video you I'll explain why I told you that so you just do that and then you cut the wire not through the wire just cut the plastic around the actual wire like this so you see how it looks the wire is still in there and then just push it off you see now the wire see the wire right there let's pull it off it's kind of hard but you can do it. you can even take your scissors in so you end up with like a little hollow thing like that and the wire should be out like that and just do that to the other cord, other side of the cord. Oh, 
So it's like that. That's how it goes. Okay, so your next step would be to take your lighting out of the box that it came in. And then you end up, you know, just undoing all the packaging, just taking it out. <clears throat> Get organized. Okay, so all you're going to need is the light, the lamp itself, um, and it comes with these um, things already in it to hang it, um, nails, and then um, some of the um, tools you're going to need to keep the wires from touching when you attach uh, these wires to the black and white wires which are in here, which are right here. So you have this wire here, this copper one, which you're not going to need. And then you have a black and white wire. And these are basically the same thing as these. Now back to the reason why I was telling you which side is black and which side is white is because this has a black cord and the black cords have to be together and the white cords have to be together. So remember that the texture side is the white cord which will go to this one and the smooth side that's smooth um, will go to the black cord on the light fixture so just remember that and that's why that's split like that and once you twist those together you'll use these big orange things to seal it so that the wires do not touch which is here and then it comes with the hanging parts so once you test the light, you know, you can go into um, where you want it to be and all that. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want my wires to be sticking out, I want it to be kind of flat to the wall. I'm going to take these off, just like this. Let's see, and set them to the side. Because these are actually what holds the light, the front onto the back. And then I'm going to just take this off right here and set it to the side. Now I'm going to pull the cords through the two, the black and white. And I'm going to take the extension cord, move those over, over. and then I'm going to feel which side is this. So this is the white. So I'm attach it to the white side. And make sure you have this right before plugging it in because they just have to be white on white and the black on the black. And then you just twist them together. No loose wires. You don't want to leave any loose wires out so that's how that looks. Just put those two together. That's the white. Then I'm going to take this and basically put it on there. To where it doesn't come off just easily. Like that. And then I'm going to take this side which is the black side of the extension cord and attach it to the black cord. Like this, and then intertwine, just like that. Oh, that one's coming apart. So you don't want it to come apart. So just try to get them together really good that and then I'm gonna take another one of these and 
and just place it right there. And that's basically it. Like that. Now what I like to do just to be a little more safe, and this is the extension cord, is put lay it down like this to where this is in between. Excuse me. So that if this comes off, in a case that this may come off, these wires, the black ones still won't touch the white wires. So just do that. Lay your extension cord down. Um, this we don't need, so just this little one here we don't need, so we'll just lay that, oops, we'll just lay that like that and then put it back on the top. Now, you can put your, um, little holders back on. Just make sure they're really tight. I'm going to take it back apart anyway. To hang it because it's an easier way to hang it you hang it before without this on the wall and then you put this on so you can measure but just like that and then you take your light bulbs which are these once again <clears throat> out of the pack and you screw them in And we'll see if it works. So, here we go. There it is. Okay, one thing I totally forgot to mention in my last video is that if you don't want to keep plugging your outlets in and out, you can get, you know, these outlets. You don't want to keep plugging them in and out when you come in the room to, you know, do your makeup in front of the vanity or whatever you do in front of your vanity. You can buy something like this. And I haven't tried it yet, but it's basically like a switch. Like you can put it on the wall, make it look like it's a light switch. And it comes with this little, uh, I guess the box where this sends the signal to this and then it cuts on the lights so that was kind of cool so I don't know if it's gonna work but so I will plug and then I bought an extension like this little socket thing it comes with three sockets because it has to go this way so I'm gonna plug one of the lights here and one of the lights at the bottom or right here and then Hopefully it turns the lights on and off. So we'll see. And then you click it again. Turns them all off. <laughs> 